Welcome back everybody, hope you guys are doing well. Today we're looking at one of the most pathetic things I've ever seen. So pretty much there's this uh, big streamer called Miskiff, and he's been putting on these kind of like game show type of streams. It's just like a little fun event for all the streamers. It's kind of like uh, are you smarter than a fifth grader type of thing. So pretty much there's a bunch of streamers in a call and then there's uh, Miskiff is the host and he asks them all questions. And then, you know, if you win, you move on to the next round and, you know, you know how the game show goes. And then there's prize money, which is Miss Kiss. And uh, none of these streamers really need the money. They're all pretty much rich anyways. Like, if you're a popular streamer, like, 9 out of 10 times you're rich, okay? Did I say 9 out of 10? More like 10 out of 10. But yeah, for some reason, on this wholesome game show, a bunch of streamers felt the need to cheat. And I don't know what's more pathetic, like, cheating on one of your, like, friend's stream and he's just trying to put on a wholesome show. Or the fact that the questions they cheated on are so incredibly easy like goddamn like some of these streamers dude They are like different levels of dumb So yeah, I just thought I'd talk about it because recently I've just been getting recommended clips of these streams and it's so incredibly embarrassing Essentially, they have to like write their answers in like paint and then their screen it, It's so freaking obvious the way they cheat It's like, you know, the mouse doesn't move for like five seconds and then you can see their face cam There's literally face cam and there's still cheating so you can see their face just move to the side you know like google a question and then come back and then they suddenly know the answer and write it down right it's like you might be wondering like what kind of questions are they cheating on it's like it must be some really hard stuff for them to be cheating but no this is like the simplest stuff ever now listen i don't know like majority of these streamers so if it's like your favorite streamer or something don't get offended i'm just i'm just calling out what i see okay so pretty much here's one of the clips of a guy cheating and this is pretty much after Ms. Kiff got really mad that people cheated and banned them from the show or something and there's still people cheating and just look at how pathetic this guy is like the way he hides his cheating is so bad bruce think apparently you have the right answer but the wrong math how do you land in that situation 327 times 10 doesn't equal that 327 times 10 320 equals three. times four What the hell you say to me, Bruce? Am I wrong or am I right? You're right. That's the problem. How did you get the answer when you got the wrong math? I did the shit in my head. Do it right now in your head. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever had more secondhand embarrassment from a clip, and I've watched some of the cringiest clips on the internet. Okay, first off, let's just, let's just go over a couple of things. First off, I am a failure in college, okay? I literally failed from college, so I am very stupid. But, 327 times 10, my guy, add a zero. Jesus Christ. For your self-made equation there, the answer was 3270. I don't know how 327 times 10 gives you 1962, I think. No, clearly you don't think you only copy because there's no way you got that number without cheating. Now let's just read the question and see how incredibly easy this was. Sam owns a t-shirt printing business. His expenses are $4 per shirt. Sam says sells each shirt for $10. He sold 327 shirts last month. How much total profit did Sam make on the shirts last month? This isn't are you smarter than a fifth grader. This is like toddler stuff, bro. The profit is 10 minus 4, $6 per shirt. So 327 times 6. That will give you your magical answer that you produced out of thin air. 327 times 10. Nice, dude. This guy tried to cheat but completely messed it up. And, and the best part Part, is that he keeps going he doesn't even admit it dude like if you've been caught red-handed instead of playing dumb and like uh, further destroying your integrity at least just say okay yeah i cheated whatever moving on you can move on with life okay instead you go oh yeah um I, I did it in my head. My guy, if you're writing it down and you still didn't get it, what do you mean you did it in your head, bro? And then he gets a second chance to prove himself because Miss Kip is just, you know, he's just kind of smiling. He knows he cheated, but he doesn't want to directly call him out, right? He gives him a second chance to show his working. And in 327 times four, like... 
My, and he doesn't even attempt to solve that, my guy. Like, the only way that would have worked is if he did 327 times 10 minus 327 times 4, but I, I don't think your puny brain would have thought of that, dude. And honestly, if you got a second, just tell me in the comments below, could you have solved this question without cheating? Because I'm pretty sure 90, 95% of you could have at least done it, provided you're, you're not a toddler. Like, come on. Now, I think what pissed me off the most about this whole thing was not even this person, right? They cheated they got caught and they doubled down whatever that's horrible but i think the people that pissed me off the most is the ones who cheated and then like they doubled down so much that they actually went to the to uh, a different length of insulting another streamer for not getting the answers right i'm sorry the second you cheat on a friendly streamer saying this isn't like this isn't like gonna affect their lives or anything if you're gonna cheat on like a final exam that completely defines the course of your life and you know if you don't get marks on this exam you're gonna to spend your life in poverty it, it, like I can okay maybe I can understand why you cheated there's like a reasoning behind it but these guys they're all rich they don't need the prize money they're like some of them might even be richer than Miskiff like I don't know Amaranth is like the literally the biggest hot tub streamer on the uh, on the platform of Twitch she started the hot tub meta like she's in incredibly rich and pretty much Amaranth and Casey Tron were both caught cheating and then later la later they're like bashing people on Twitter for being like oh yeah at least I didn't cheat but then again later they admitted that they cheated it's just so bad man so yeah pretty much this next clip they're bashing on a streamer called josh for uh losing to them you josh, lost you, to you... a stoner and a hot tub streamer <laughs> you look so it is what it is. i've already never won. lived it this is. down it is what it is i know i'm ready to pack it up now i'm like we win all right <laughs> well have fun josh, i'm sorry will. buddy i'm if sorry buddy fun. Why it's fine, man. Honestly, I think the look on Josh's face just says everything. I think he knows that they cheated as well, so he's just kind of like, okay, I'm just not going to fight back. And Miskiff also is like, yeah, it's okay, buddy. Yeah, you, you probably know they cheated as well. Can you imagine being so high and mighty that you feel the need to put down other people while you're cheating? Like, this is, this is meant to be a funny thing. The whole appeal of the show is the fact that, you know, full-grown adults get basic maths wrong or something like that, and it's like, ha, ah, you're you're pretty dumb and it's not meant to be taken literally okay like what about these other players like peter park and whatever failed grade four is he out here cheating it's literally meant to be a fun event like these streamers are like full-grown adults but they're still like the kid that comes to play monopoly and then he just steals money from the bank all the time and then he gets really mad if you don't trade with him or something it's like bro it's it's meant to be a fun game dude calm your goddamn tits okay maybe some of you looked at the last question and were like oh Oh, actually, that was kind of hard. I didn't really get it. Okay, let's move on to uh, an even extremely harder question. This was actually the one question you needed to answer to get into Harvard. Like, if you got this, you're in, you know? 36 is what percent of 80? This is sixth grade math. Like, bro, what is with the American education system? I swear to God. This is some first grade stuff. God damn, man. Come on. 36 is what percent of 80? And people needed to cheat for this. And the way you know they cheated is just watch this clip from Destiny, right? They literally write the equation wrong it's so funny 36 is what percent of 80 36 is what percent of 80 okay <laughs> so they're allowed to write it down to work it out okay it's just brooke not answering you <laughs> and then here's Time the work they show at the end 45 <gasps> percent brooke were you able to put <laughs> So Amaranth writes down, at least she gets the equation right, to her credit. <laughs> In case she just writes down the wrong equation. I don't know why. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, forgive me if you don't believe me, but I don't actually have a PhD in mathematics, but I can still tell you 80 by 36 isn't 0.45. So the answer was a simple 36 by 80, but they couldn't even get that right. So they they need to show the working to prevent cheating. And that's exactly what it did here. I mean, it didn't prevent it, but it helped a lot of people catch you. This is just so pathetic and embarrassing, man. This isn't even like a fun kind of cheating. You're like messing with people or something like that, like, I don't know, some XQC type of stuff in Fall Guys or whatever. This is just straight up like, hey, I, and then these were the same people clowning on Josh for being dumb, you know? What? Also, maybe you guys, maybe different people learn different math techniques. What is like the K36 thing? Is this like a way, is this like some secret way to do division? 
That's a pie chart? Is that like a secret technique? Wait, how is a how is it a pie chart? Are you guys You don't understand it's the mathematics jutsu. You draw you draw a pie chart and you automatically have the answer, you know? By the way, for that particular equation, there is absolutely no way that drawing a pie chart helped you in the slightest. That you don't need a goddamn with <laughs> like why are they drawing a pie chart? Next thing you know, they'll bring actual pie and bring it like, oh, it was, it was part of my calculations. I'm so not surprised that the number one hot tub streamer ain't a math genius, but come on, you don't have to cheat. Just admit it. You don't know the answer. Anyway, it's so funny watching these two go through and just like cheat on so many questions. We aren't. They do a thing later where, because Miskiff realizes you guys are getting, you guys are getting answers from Discord. I'm not gonna be able to find it out. And then Kaysen turns around like three times. You're like, oh, okay. And she like pretends it's ninth to. Grade. What are the four nitrogenous base bases found in DNA. Okay, listen, so this might be a slightly harder question that you might not remember. It, it's pretty much just comes down to memorizing the names and if you learned this in biology class. Me personally, I learned it in school so I know it, but if, if you weren't taught this, you wouldn't know it. So maybe it makes sense that you wouldn't know this one, but either way, it, it doesn't really give you a pass to cheat. And by the way, this is all coming from the guy who was blaming the teachers that kids were cheating in Zoom meetings because they didn't make the system good. Because honestly, this is a completely different scenario. Scenario. We aren't in the terrible education system here with terrible teachers and stuff like that We're just having like a friendly thing over here, but they still feel the feel the need to do it, man You're I both gonna say it at the same time I like no. how she <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, 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 10 no. seconds what? It's like, it's <laughs> It's like so blatant. How much, it must suck to put so much work to put on a show like this and you get people that like just cheat like so hard. She knows this. She does her little moon whatevers and I'm sure she like has- How, how can I do this? Stay, stay, stay there, stay there, stay there. Listen, I'm not too much into the whole Twitch and streaming thing. I'm more into like YouTube and stuff. So I don't really pay attention to a lot of the stuff that goes down on Twitch. But apparently there's a subreddit called like rr slash livestream fails. And they pretty much capture everything you need to know. Here's a post saying Casey Tron copyright striking streamable clip of her saying she didn't cheat on Miskiff's show because it chose her to be a hypocrite. Like... Come on. And if you think that was the end of it, you're completely wrong. She even pulls out the sexist card, dude. Are you kidding me? You guys are just mad because a man didn't win and you're sexist. Yeah, no sh** we're gonna come down harder on her. <laughs> now another popular streamer, Asmongol, came out and said that we should just ban all these people who cheated because clearly they don't, they don't value the integrity of the game at all. It's kind of like if you get caught cheating in school, you know, you should be banned. Because pretty much you're not respecting the system or whatever. If you get away with it, sure, okay, but you get caught, you, you have to pay the price, you know? Simple. We never invite people who cheated on the show back ever again. True! And we never do content with them again. But nobody will do That's it. That's what I'm going to vote. Well, Asman might. At all, period. Hey, buddy, I Absolutely, sent completely song. blacklisted. Can I get your thoughts on it? How do we stop the cheating? Discord. All right, listen, in my opinion, being completely like a neutral bystander to this, like I don't watch any of these streamers or whatever. I feel like, yeah, they should pretty much be banned from the show because like the, it's no longer fun anymore, is it? I think I would compare this to like cheating in Among Us and just kind of looking at who the imposter is. Like what the hell is the point of the game then, right? Where the, the whole point of the game is that so a bunch of friends come, come along or streamer friends and they have a good time right and it's the suspense and not knowing which makes the game the game but if you just skip ahead to the end and find some bs way to be right all the time it's just annoying it's kind of like in among us when somebody knows you're the imposter but has absolutely no logical way to prove it they're just like oh i know it's you i know it's you i'm just i'm just voting you i'm just voting you it's like yeah you cheated you know anyways ladies and gentlemen that's pretty much the story hope you guys did enjoy smash that like button if you did subscribe if you're new Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments below. I still feel like it's pretty pathetic. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.